Oh, oh. You guys have fallen down. It's all sorts of a crazy day for me. Here we go. <laughs> stuff here coming at you with another review today Tony Snuff as in I am Tony and this is Snuff now before we get started here today I want to show you guys a trick I learned um, it's actually about how, an easier way to clean snuff out of your nose and um if you can see it's just uh, a nail <laughs> jammed up in your nose and then uh, where's my I don't know where my hammer went Oh well, I'll have to use this to dig this thing out. Now you just take the nail and a hammer and you just hammer that son of a bitch into your nose. It only takes about a minute and a half. Ah, there you go. That is actually a real forged nail. But it helps you breathe easier. Back to the review. Ah! Alright guys, back to the review. Again, I bring the snuff reviews to you. And uh, I'm actually talking to you guys from the future right now. Because this thing isn't going to air until Saturday, Saturday. And it's only Friday because I'm going out of town and I have to do the two reviews today. <coughs> Anyways. So get your ass off of Pornhub and Spankwire, you sick sick bastards, and let's get into this thing. Now first off, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you what I got in today, because I got a package. I got Frederick Trenter Hobson's Choice in a 25 gram tin. I got another Paul Godard Snuff. I don't remember which one. I think it's the same one as last time. So, let me see. No, it's not. Instead of Agrist, it's, it starts with a G, but I'll be reviewing that one later. I got some Samuel Galwith honey. Some uh, Galwith Hogard sandalwood. And yes, it is. Some motherfucking fire drag! Woo -hoo. And guess what? The special video for Monday is gonna be the fire drag. But, not yet, it's not because if this is a Saturday's review. Damien, I have a little vial of Tony's special snuff right here for you, and your Wilson's of Shero Bubblegum came in also. So that will be in the mail at some point next week. Today we're going to do the snuff review on this little guy. Watch out, snuff pup. This little guy, isn't he cute? It's a snuff vial with, you know, you can clip it to your shirt or your pocket or whatever, but whenever you unscrew it, it actually has a snuff spoon. It has a little snuff spoon. So it's very convenient. Um, this right now, I have to say, is going to be the last accessory review because this is the last accessory I have. But, whatever. Shit happens, you run out. This snuff pup's trying to get up in my lap, and it's weird. But guys, I have a wiener between my legs. Snuff pup, snuff pup. Okay, you hang out up here. All right, so, again, this is just a little container. Nothing special about it, and this just has a little spoon. Now the cool thing about this spoon is the way it's shaped you don't really have to scoop it all. All you have to do is stick it in, like that, and pull it out, and it'll pack snuff in there. It'll scoop it for you, and then sniff. Ah, and do it again, and sniff. Ah, now, ooh, that's tote coke in there. I like that. And I have to sneeze. No, no. 
Okay, um, <clears throat> two things that I like about the spoon is it works as a snuff spoon, and Charlotte's showing you her ass. Alright, go on the floor. Okay, um, is it works just like any other snuff spoon to an extent, and it digs out the, uh, the snuff without having to scoop it. The thing I don't like about it is, since it does dig the snuff out without you having to scoop it, it tends to pack it in there, into the spoon, a little bit more than a normal pinch would pack it. So you have to sniff a significant amount harder just to get the snuff out as you would. So I would suggest you do, using this with a more coarse snuff or a, uh, a more moist snuff so it won't shoot directly to the back of your throat. Um, because if you used it with like, um, what's a good one? If you used it like you would use the six photo cheetah, it would immediately shoot directly to the back of your throat and it would not be a good time. <coughs> but other than that, I really like this product. It's real handy. It holds right about three quarters of a gram in your pocket. So it'll last you, you know, a good bit of the day. Um, if you just want to conceal it, keep it in your pocket. And if you wanted to heat it, you just hold it in your hand like this for about 30 seconds. And it's small enough that it'll heat it, just shake it like that, and it'll heat all of it. So guys, that's the end of this one for you guys. Um, snuff accessory review on the final one. Over into the review thing. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button next to my boobies. And leave me a comment. Um, if y'all have any other accessories that I should get, let me know. And I'll make sure I order them and review them. It'll give me something to do on my Saturdays. So guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, boobies. Subscribe, please, and I'll talk to you guys later. It went Tony Snuff!